Well gang, here I am. I got me another project I do on the truck. Uh, clutch master cylinder, slave cylinders going south. Um, pedals, you know, being mushy and all. So let me grab my light. I can show you what I've found so far. Uh, and if you look, you can see the bottom of the master cylinder is kind of dampened and wet looking. I'm going to assume it's leaking air into the system at this point because the pedal is not exactly what it should be. I can push it in quite a ways you know with my foot and it takes a lot of travel to get to disengage. So what I got to do is start by taking out these two nuts to get the master loose. But before I do that I want to do something else and I've got the new master cylinder and slave cylinder but I wanted to point something out why the method of bleeding these are so critical is I know my lighting's really poor okay this right here in my finger is the hydraulic line for the clutch and if you pay attention to the routing of it it comes out of the bottom of it and is routed back up above the master cylinder height. So air bubbles are really common to trap. Like you can see it run along here in this tube here. I'll put my finger on it again. And it's higher than the master, so there's no way to bleed it on the truck. You gotta remove the whole system. And I'm gonna go over that process here in just a moment. Okay, just to set up my ratchet so you can see where the bolt studs are. There's another one hidden up above. But that's a 15 millimeter socket I'm using and a wobble extension just so I can get enough angle to get around stuff. So give me a few seconds here and I'll get these whizzed off here. Okay gang, I managed to get those two nuts out of there. And I want to give a close look at this clip. This is what's on the clutch pedal. And it's gonna be hard to describe this. It's this way on the clutch pedal and how you release it is this one tab here on the back side will have to be lifted so the actual pedal pin will pass under it so you can pull it out. So it's kind of a bugger to reach up in there with all the wiring. Just all I can say is take a small screwdriver, have some patience, don't pry real hard because you don't want to break it because once you lose that clip off the end here, that'll be the end of that you'll end up hunting for a new one. Now as for the new uh, clutch safety, it's got a red slider lock, kind of like all the other ABS locks and stuff. You gotta pull that out and then you'll be able to squeeze the tab to release it. And of course, there's the other end of the cord and it's out. The two nuts are out and I use menagerie more of tools trying to do it another extension, wobble joint, the screwdriver for release, and the ratchet. And there's the two nuts. So, that now gets the master cylinder loose from the firewall, but I still gotta take the reservoir off. Now I gotta crawl underneath and take care of the slave on the truck and we'll start popping line. So let me set up for the next part and we'll go for it. Okay, forgive the tight quarters and kind of a crummy spot to record, but there's the slave cylinder. I'm just going to pull it out with a 13 millimeter wrench. What I want to point out, as you notice, I've worked on this before, so I got things zip tied to the lines and stuff. Well, the hydraulic line itself, right here, has to be all disconnected, and this is all going to come out as one unit. So bear with me people here and we'll get this stage out and I'll show you what we're doing. Alrighty. Okay, we're back under again. I've got the two nuts off the studs. Slaves in my hand. Okay. Ugh. Get my ponytail out from front of the roller there. That kind of smart. Okay. This clip up here, 
can be separated and removed without actually popping it off the lip of the body there. Just use a small screwdriver and you can release it. It just takes a little bit of force and it'll pop open for you. Now the line is free all the way up to the cowling now. So give me a moment to crawl out of here and I'll get it pulled up to the other side. Okay, there's the first part of it. We're just kind of got to work it out from the firewall. Make sure you got all your linkage inside disconnected and the wiring for the safety switch. And so far you'll notice mine's right behind the loom there, so I got to use both my hands here to get this pulled out. But give me a moment, I'll get this routed out and it'll come out as a full unit. It always does. Alrighty. Here we go. All in one piece. Nothing else was taken off. It was just literally removed in one whole piece. Now we'll get into the process of taking apart the lines. And you see there's roll pins and whatnot in both ends. Hang on. There's another one at this end. So I'm going to get these roll pins and stuff out and We'll get the neat parts put together and I'll show you how that all goes together. Alrighty, hang on. Okay, here's two Napa part numbers. Here's the slave cylinder. And the master cylinder. So that would be the new master cylinder. The new slave. Roll pin for the slave and the hardware for the master. There's the new push rod. We're going to assemble all this back together, bleed it, and put it back on the truck. Okay, all I did is basically took the cap off the reservoir, dumped it over, and pressed the slave cylinder a few times. But I don't know if you can see it in the fluid. You can see the graphite, the wear of the master cylinder is probably going bad. And that explains why it's wet around the switch there. So. That explains why my clutch has been acting kind of goofy and pedal's been kind of soft and mushy. So we're in the process of getting her done. Okay, pretty simple what I've done so far. I've taken the hose and just take a razor knife and split it so you can get the reservoir off. Using a drip pin, I went ahead and punched out the roll pin there. This whole unit's going to get tossed, so... I don't have to worry about keeping them because it comes with all new pins. So let's get the other side down. We'll get the two pieces pulled. Pretty simple. There you go. Both of them taken off. Like I showed before, you just basically punch the roll pins out on both sides. And what you'll end up with is two with these fittings on both ends. Now remember, the side that's got the J in it like this will be your master. The other one is going to be coming from another angle. So if it's hung in correct orientation, be just like that, and all the way back down. So if you're smart, mark it so you don't forget which end is master, which one's slave side. Okay, next step you're going to be doing is you got to preload the slave cylinder. Without cutting it, take the little white tabs out of the base. You'll see the notch in it. Let's see if I can get a. There you go. And you just push it up a little bit more, release the tabs. And very carefully, you're going to have to be patient, is fill the slave cylinder completely full of fluid. So this will be your primer to get the whole system reloaded. Now I've got the roll pin and the seal i got to put in, so I'm going to place this and put it together and I'll show the next little phase. Okay, now we got to get the master cylinder put together. I've got it flipped over, the slave's already hooked up. I left the pin out. Do not press that pin back in. Leave it out. After you've got it loaded and hooked up, leave it out. So now you'll have the open end here. You'll assemble in the same way. You'll put the seal on the end of the line. Just like that, and you're going to press it into the bottom of the master, and you're going to push the roll pin in. And all I did for the roll pin is just use a pair of channel locks, 
and just go ahead and push it through until it's flush on both sides and that's it. So being I need both hands, give me a moment. Alright, mass cylinders assembled. Like I said, just push the tube in with the seal, push the roll pin through so it's flush on both sides. Reservoir, you cut off the previous one, you just push it into the new tube. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and get the clutch safety reset up. And I didn't show how it come apart, but basically there's a slide on it. And you're going to squeeze these two tabs and you can slide it back to get it off the rod. And I'm going to get this set up with the new foam and backing piece there, or wash, or whatever you want to call it. And I'll have that put together here in a second. Show a little clarity on this again. There's these two release tabs. You're going to squeeze them in so they'll pass these two other little tabs here and it's going to slide back. Just like that. That's all it is to release it. So just snap it forward, you're in. Make sure the wires are on the ring side, not the push rod side. Don't put it on backwards. And that's all that is, is just the foam and the one shouldered washer, the shoulder goes towards the switch. Now all I got to do is push this into the master cylinder and we'll get the priming. Okay, simple setup. I just went ahead and put the reservoir in the top of the vise so it stay put and won't fall over. I got as much as the curl as I can to go downward, it's wanting to flop. So now with that loaded, all we're going to do is, let's see, I'm going to do it one handed here. Just going to push it in and let it out real slow. And you'll notice the level is being drawn in. I'll go ahead and watch the thing, and you can see the air bubbles being pushed out. But you got to keep everything downhill. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing here. I got it all hung and vertical. So as I pump, you can see the air bubble coming out and you can see the level going down. Yeah, I pretty much got it. No, there's a few more. You gotta just keep working at it. This is how you, hey, get a little bit too much going on there. Now we're starting to get solid string come back in. So you do this a few times until you make sure you got all the air bubbles from showing. So let me get this finished up. It's kind of hard for me to do it single handed, but as you can see, I've drawn in almost all the fluid. It's nearly empty. Just a skim in the bottom. So let me reload this and make sure we get it loaded right. Okay, all bled out. Make sure you're filled to the shoulder line there. That's the full mark of the reservoir. You're going to cap it off. Make sure you secure the cap pretty snugly because you don't want any air getting in. And you'll notice that the fluid is just about nearly to the top. Now, as for this, now you go ahead and you push it in and you use the clips. So let me put the camera down so I don't have to stop and start again. And now you should have a loaded slave cylinder. And you'll notice that the fluid is topped out now. Everything's all hooked up, safety, uh, clutch safety's hooked up. Now all you gotta do is ride it back through and bolt it all back in. And we'll get that done. There you go, I got our stuff back in there at least. Uh, don't wanna go ahead and put anything like clutch linkage or pedal linkage up yet. Um, reservoir, you wanna try to keep it upright as much as you can as long as the fluid level is over the tube so you don't get air back into it. Um, next stage of this game, I'm gonna start from the bottom up. And the reason why on that is just to ensure that you don't accidentally press the pedal in and blow the slave cylinder all over and start this whole process over again. So let's get that done. I'll get the assembly done. 
and we'll take a look at it. Okay, I want to note something here before I go to putting this back in. Take notice, I did not cut the tabs. Leave the tabs alone. After you reassemble it, you know, from bleeding it all out, make sure you don't cut them. You don't need to cut them. You just install it with them set. Just like that and bolt it up. Well gang, I got her all put back together. And clutch works really nice. It's softer. Uh, no problems. I gave it kind of a start and run test here in the shop. You know, kind of see where the launching point would be of the clutch. Um, as for everything else, it's all bolted up, fluids topped off and still good and solid and all the tubing and clips were put back in and she's in good shape now and project's complete and give me a little bit and I'll get this posted up.